Assalamu alaikum and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to explore the wonders of ICT. I'm sure many of you have heard the term ICT, but do you know what it stands for? Right, Information, Communication and Technology. Let me explain to you what these three terms mean. Information is the knowledge gained from reading and researching by using the internet, televisions and phones. Do you have any questions you do not know the answer to? Just type the question on your search bar and voila! In the click over button, you have your answer. Televisions can tell us the weather forecast, they can tell us about sports, and even information about parts of the world. The phones these days are the productive phones, aren't they? They have replaced most of the things we have, like timers, clocks, and maps. The phone also has things like WhatsApp, YouTube, and Gmail. What a small thing it is, and so much it can do. Communication is transmitting and exchanging messages and information between people by signs, symbols, verbal interactions, and words. Do you want to communicate with a friend or family member from Kenya all the way in Canada? It's possible these days. You can send an email. You can communicate through WhatsApp by sending symbols such as smiley faces. You can send GIFs. You can also call one another. Okay, what is technology? I know you must have thought that technology meant electronics such as phones, TVs, tablets and computers. But these things are part of technology. They are not the only types of technology. Technology is the use of scientific knowledge to make processed products that fulfill human needs. These days, many things are possible due to technology. For example, going into space. We were never able to do that. But now, thanks to technology, we can. We can go explore the planet. We can go to the moon. We can go explore stars. Also, Technology ensures massive production in things. For example, houses before used to take months, even years to build. But now, due to technology, we can make a house in less than 24 hours. Everything these days is made in factories using machines, which are technology. For example, ice creams, suitcases, gloves, pencils, candies, clothes, pillows. Fans, computers, anything you can think of was probably once made in a factory. Wow, technology can help us in life in so many ways, can't it? The world today revolves around technology and the main part of technology are computers. So before we move on, let me tell you the main parts of a computer. The monitor, CPU also called central processing unit, the keyboard, the mouse, and the speakers. Computers did not become the all wonderful products of today overnight. They took time, approximately 30 or 40 years to become what they are now. Let us have a look at the timeline of the evolution of computers. That brings us to the end of our video today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!